Right now, you're probably under some form of quarantine or isolation, stuck at your house, binge watching Game of Thrones for the 13th time, and I'm sure you're bored out of your mind. So to help with that boredom and really advance yourself during this time where you are forced to stay at home, I decided I'd come up with five project ideas that are perfect to do when stuck in isolation at home. Let's get started now. Chances are with one of these projects, you're going to need some form of web hosting, which is perfect because the sponsor for today's video is Atlantic.net Hosting, and they're giving you an entire year of free hosting on their servers. That's an entire one year free trial, no strings attached. And if you use the code Kyle, you get an additional $50 of credit you can use towards whatever else you need in that hosting plan. So I highly recommend you check out Atlantic.net for that entire year long free trial because you're not going to find that anywhere else. The very first project you should tackle is some form of complex user permission or user role system where you have a bunch of different permissions and roles preventing or allowing users to do certain actions in your site. And the great thing about this project is you can actually apply this to any different project that you have since this is just a section of a project. So if you already have a project that you want to work on, you can just add in this user authentication, user role, user permission system into your existing project, or you can find someone else's project like the blog tutorial that I did just a couple weeks ago, and you can add in this permission system into that blog system on top of it. And the great thing about this permission system is you don't actually need to worry about authentication. I actually have a tutorial covering user authentication, which you can check out and use that as a boilerplate to get started with this. But what you really want to do with this project is focus purely on the permissions because handling user permissions is probably one of the things that you're going to do the most at any job you work on. Every website has some type of permissions where certain users can do things, certain users can do other things. Some users can do all the things, some can't do anything, and it's really hard to manage those permissions in a good, clean way. So practicing that skill and building your own user permission system is really going to teach you a lot of the things that you want to avoid in the future and also show you how to properly manage these permissions because it's a super, super important topic to understand and you're going to use it at any job that you encounter. Now this second project is really fun in my opinion because it's super visual and that is building some form of charting dashboard. Think about like an admin page which gives you details on logged in users, purchases on an e-commerce site, and all of these other details. Just anything that you can visualize with some form of chart or data. And this is really important again because most of the time when you work at a company, there are going to be people at that company that want visual charts of the data in the database because they're not technical. So you're going to need to build some form of charting dashboard for these non-technical users. So being able to understand and learn this skill is going to be incredibly useful for any job that you work on and going to make you that much more appealing when you apply for jobs on a resume. And the great thing about this is you can use any type of charting library that you want. There's tons of different charting libraries out there, so you can just choose whichever one works with you and you can use that charting library to build out really cool looking visualizations of that data. And speaking of data, the great thing is there's so many APIs out there that you can find any type of data source that you want, whether it's bank information, currency information, race car information, book information, there is so much out there. And you can build charts using any of the data sources that you want, including your own data source. Now onto the third option for projects. This is another visual project and something that I find really enjoyable, and that is building out a component library. So think about foundation or bootstrap material UI. The idea is you want to build out your own component library using CSS, maybe a little bit of JavaScript and some HTML. Just build out different components. You have buttons, you have modals, you have dropdowns, you have select boxes, input fields, form fields, all of these different things that you think of when you think of a different type of component library, you want to be able to have and build out in your system. Not only is this a really important skill because chances are you're going to have to build custom components at wherever you work, but also for any project you build in the future, you can take these custom components that you built inside of this component system and use them in your project, just like you would with bootstrap material UI or foundation, but it's going to give you a custom look that no other site has, which is really going to put you a step above your competition when it comes to selling a product or appealing to people on your site. 
This project is really useful too because not only is it going to increase your development skills by making you a better CSS developer, but it's also going to increase your design skills because you need to think of different design concepts when you're building out these different components. And that is a skill many developers lack and it's gonna put you even further ahead of people when you're applying for a job and make you that much more likely to get your dream job. Now, the fourth project I wanna talk about is going to be building out a real-time chat application. Now, it doesn't have to be a chat application, but any type of application that has real-time communication. So it could be, for example, a Trello board where when one user moves something on the Trello board to another section, another column, it'll update on all the other user screens that are logged in. So just some form of real-time communication. Think about like a Google Doc, for example, when someone edits, it updates on everybody's screen. So handling that different type of synchronization between browsers across all of your users at once is a really important skill to understand. And if you do want to go with the chat application route, I have a set of tutorials on real-time chat applications. You can check out, I'll link them up in the cards in the description, and that'll give you a really good foundation for building out real-time communication. And from there, you can either expand that chat application, maybe add in user permissions, or you could go with something like building out a game which has real-time communication between a server and all of the different clients. It's really entirely up to you what you want to build, but just building something with that real-time communication is important because many applications on the web rely on real-time updates to the user. Anything from an e-commerce site to even just a normal backend site that's used only internally inside of a company, there's some degree of real-time updates that you need to handle, so knowing how to do that is super important. Now the fifth and final project we have here is another one where you can take in a bunch of different directions depending on your preferences, but this is building out some form of rating system. So you need to have an application, think of an e-commerce site like Amazon, they have ratings and reviews on their site from different users so that you can see how good or bad a product is. So the idea of this project is to build out a similar system where you can add in ratings, so one to five stars for example, and you also can add in reviews for different people that are signed into the site or even just random anonymous reviews. And building out this type of rating system is great because not only is it going to make you have to deal with certain database queries to make sure that your ratings are properly calculated, it has certain permissions and linking of different products to their ratings, but also you may have to do a little bit of kind of algorithmic work to determine which reviews you want to show at the top, whether you want to make sure you show the most positive and most negative review, show some kind of combination of the two, and figure out what the best way to display honest reviews on your site is something that you need to think about and something that a lot of sites have to worry about because many, many sites have some form of review or rating system. So knowing how to build one is going to make you that much more appealing when you apply to work at these companies. And those are the five best projects that you can work on while bored out of your mind, stuck at home. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out my other videos linked over here and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.